25 Ultra Rare Supercars Ever Made there's a whole new world of auto manufacturing that is only explored by a select few. A world of rare and extraordinary supercars that everyone dreams of owning but only a few can actually afford. Most times, these supercars end up selling for millions of dollars. But, how come even billionaires can't get their hands on one? That is because these cars were somehow the only one ever made. That said, here are some of the rarest supercars, their history, and how much they cost. 2008 Maybach Accelero In 2005, Maybach designers and engineers decided to create something unique and called Chrysler for a collaboration. Their brainchild was the Accelero, with a 5.9-liter twin-turbo V12 that puts out 700 horsepower capable of reaching a top speed of 350 km per hour or 217 miles per hour. Price tag, $8 million. 1998 Nissan R390 GT1 Requiring a homologated road version to be built. The R390 was made originally as a road car, then a racing version was developed afterwards. Only one R390 road car was ever built and is stored at Nissan's Zayma facility, although one of the race cars was later modified for road use. The road car was claimed to be capable of attaining a top speed of 354 km per hour. However, this claim has never been proven. The car is priceless, but if we were to speculate, it would probably fetch around $1.5 million to $2.5 million if Nissan decided to sell it. Beninfarina Ferrari P for Slash 5 It all came about when Pininfarina approached James Glickenhaus as to whether he wanted to create something unique, a one-off special. Glickenhaus, being a car nut and of course now with his own Le Mans hypercar team, said yes. And what we got was an extraordinary car that Ferrari didn't know of until it was actually being built. As one-off cars go, the Ferrari P for Slash 5, often been called the ultimate Enzo, has to be one of the most impressive there is. When it came to the powertrain, the P for Slash 5 would also use the Tipo F140 B6 liter V12 that had become so famous inside the Enzo. The car was unveiled at Pebble Beach in 2006, and it reportedly cost Glickenhaus around for a million dollars. At today's rate, when adjusted for inflation, that's over six million dollars. Arache F10 Every hypercar cliché rolled into one 2080 horsepower concept. Only one AF10 was ever produced, but it was never sold. The company only quotes a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 2.8 seconds and a 0 to 186 miles per hour time of under 27 seconds. That's certainly not slow, but we have to admit we're a little disappointed. With that much power, we would expect better. That's not even on pace with the current set of hypercars. Ferrari SP12 EC A one-of-a-kind Ferrari has to be built for a Ferrari enthusiast and brilliant musician like Eric Clapton. The SP12 EC was built as a tribute to Clapton's career and his extensive experience as a Ferrari owner by the Centro Stile Ferrari, in partnership with Pininfarina and the engineers from Maranello. The world-famous guitarist has a soft spot for one Ferrari model in particular, the 512BB, which he has owned three times throughout the years. As a result, he desired to drive an automobile inspired by this model, with inspirations from the multi-award-winning for 58 Italia supercar. Based on its provenance, the car cost $4.7 million to create and is easily worth just as much, if not more today. 2012 McLaren X1 The dramatic one-off supercar from McLaren's Special Operations, or MSO, a division of the company responsible for building completely bespoke creations for very special customers, someone who already owns a few McLarens, who began discussions with McLaren chief Ron Dennis a few years prior to build something completely unique. 
Underneath, the same as the 12C's 3.8 liter twin turbo charged V8 remains, powering the rear wheels. Replete with 621 brake horsepower and many torque keys. And because it's been nailed together by McLaren, it showcases space station levels of build quality. Price tag, $5 million. 2012 Lamborghini Aventador J. Unveiled at the 2012 Geneva Motor Show, Automobili Lamborghini presented their most uncompromising open super sports car of its entire history. The 700 horsepower to Cedar is a first class technology showcase, combining innovative solutions and brand new materials and demonstrating Lamborghini's expertise in carbon fiber technology. Oh, and there is only one of them. The one you see right here is the only Aventador J that will ever be produced. No prototypes, no additional model for the Lamborghini Museum, just a one-of-a-kind piece of art for one lucky buyer, who ultimately paid $2.8 million for it. 2015 Econa Volcano Titanium This, boys and girls, is a titanium supercar and the Econa Volcano is so proud of its atypical body work, it's wearing no paint. Inspiration for the Volcano came from the world's fastest plane, the SR-71 Blackbird, whose sharp and dramatic silhouette complementing its sensual surface transitions was key to the styling of the Volcano. While the materials used for its body aren't conventional, what lies beneath the skin is less unusual. Italian coachwork clothing a Corvette-sourced V8. Icona tried selling its one-off Volcano Titanium supercar for a cool 2.5 million euros or approximately $2.78 million in 2013. If you have heard of it since, please leave a comment below to keep us updated. Ferrari for 58mm Speciali. And, as the name suggests, it's based off the regular for 58 Speciali. That means it's powered by the very same normally aspirated 597 horsepower V8, hooked up to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission under the skin. That's just about where the similarities ends as the body has been reworked, complete with aluminum bits and carbon fiber composite bumpers as well as new air intakes, a reworked rear spoiler, and unique wheels. To name just a few of the visual tweaks. Penned by the Ferrari Styling Center, the 458mm Speciali went to one lucky British buyer. 2017 Pagani Zonda Riviera Sold for a remarkable $5.5 million at a 2019 Silverstone auction event in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The Riviera started out life as a Zonda F and was returned to the company's Italian factory to become the latest in the long-running 760 series of models. Among the modifications made are the fitment of all-new carbon fiber body panels, a custom roof scoop a towering carbon fiber rear wing, carbon fiber canards, and some gorgeous blue trimmings. Under the skin, the 7.3-liter naturally aspirated V12 has been upgraded to deliver a cool 750 horsepower. These engine upgrades are complemented by a custom exhaust system that ensures that V12 screams even louder. At the time of the car's sale, it had less than 900 kilometers under its belt. 2019 Lamborghini SC18 Alston The first one-off in the history of the Santa Gata Balenasi Motorsport Division. This unique specimen was designed in conjunction with the customer and the Lamborghini Centro Stile, a road-approved monster but designed primarily for use on the track. The SC18 Alston comes in a naturally aspirated 6.5-liter V12 with an output of 759 brake horsepower and 720 newton meters of torque. Lambo declined to give any info on pricing, but considering the standard Aventador SVJ starts at a whopping $517,000. With today's production hypercars demanding seven-figure price tags, one can only begin to speculate what the client has shelled out for their Mona Lisa on wheels. 
2015 Ferrari P80C. Ferrari says it's the first dedicated track car it has ever created as a one-off. Although the P80C does not reach the same extremes as the FXXK. What it offers, however, is the right to stay in this owner's garage somewhere in Hong Kong, powered by a restricted 3.9-liter twin-turbo V8. It has an output of 800 brake horsepower and 657 foot-pounds of torque. It has fabulous front wings, prominent rear buttresses, a visor cockpit, and enough aero to retard a rocket. But it's also as enigmatic as the guy who commissioned it, a true flight of fantasy, one of one, with a price to match, circa $6.5 million. 2021 Bugatti La Voiture Noir What's got 16 cylinders for turbochargers, 1,500 horsepower, 1,180 pounds, feet of torque, and an $18 million price tag? That guy, aka the one of one Bugatti La Voiture Noir, to rich for your blood. Well, don't sweat it as the car's already been sold to a Bugatti enthusiast who is fascinated by the Type 57 SC Atlantic Coupe. Built to celebrate Bugatti's 110-year anniversary, as well as a homage to the second of the four Type 57 SCs, the original La Voiture Noir, which literally translates to the black car, Driven by Jean Bugatti himself as well as some of his Grand Prix driver buddies. 2020 Aston Martin Victor The Victor was commissioned by an anonymous investor and was developed by Aston's Q division. With a retro look mixed with a new age design, the Victor is truly a thing of beauty. The Victor is a true driver's car with a monstrous 836 horsepower V12 controlled by a six-speed manual transmission, making it the most powerful stick shift vehicle Aston Martin has ever made. A combination of the refurbished V12 engine from the Aston Martin 177 prototype and styling from the Aston Vulcan, the overall appearance is a nod to the vantage of the 1970s and 1980s. No one knows exactly how much the lucky owner of this unique car paid, but it's safe to say that the Victor is a multi-million dollar vehicle. With the sharing of tech with the 177 and Vulcan, it makes sense that the Victor would be at least as expensive as these supercars. The 177 sold for almost $1.9 million and the Vulcan costs around 2.3. With the Victor being a one-off, it would probably sold for close to $3 million, if not more. 2020 Lamborghini SC20 Lamborghini invites you to experience the exhilaration of the SC20, a unique open-top track supercar that merges extreme design with race-inspired aerodynamics and performance, drawing from its extensive Squadra Corsa expertise. Lamborghini Centro Stile has crafted a model tailored to meet every driver's desires. It features the brand's most powerful naturally aspirated 6.5-liter V12 engine, combined with lightweight carbon fiber body work and standout elements like the aggressive front splitter and rear wing, along with a distinctive track-focused livery. The result is a custom open-top vehicle that delivers both comfortable motorsport driving and road legal approval. 1995 Low-Tech C1000 Work on the car commenced in 1991, and nearly for years and $3.4 million later, the C1000 was ready for delivery purely as a one-off car. It was engineered with a full carbon fiber body and chassis to keep the weight in check despite having a large engine. A 5.6-liter V8 from Mercedes with a pair of Garrett turbochargers pushed 1,000 horsepower to the rear wheels through a Hewlin 5-speed racing gearbox. Thanks to a low weight, high power combo, the Lotex E1000 was allegedly able to complete the 0 to 100 km per hour run in 3.2 seconds and the 0 to 200 km per hour journey in 8 seconds. That's still mighty impressive even by today's standards. 
Last time we heard, the fascinating two-door coupe was up for grabs in the United States for a cool $650,000. However, that was roughly nine years ago, back when the odometer was showing merely 1,600 miles on the clock. 2016 Aston Martin Vantage GT12 Roadster. This one-off open top model is based on the GT12 Coupe, so has a 592bhp 5.9-liter V12 engine, but it has also received significant changes to its chassis and aerodynamics. Aston Design Chief Merrick Reichman said the model came about from discussions from a customer looking to buy a GT12 Coupe, but then developed into a bespoke one-off creation. The car it's based on, the Vantage GT12, is the most hardcore Aston Martin Vantage you can buy, second only to the ultra-limited edition Vulcan in Aston's lineup. Its naturally aspirated V12 engine makes 595 horsepower for 161 foot-pounds of torque and one incredible noise. This sort of exclusivity won't come cheap, of course, although Aston isn't telling us how much the GT12 Roadster cost. If you're tempted by something similar, then get in touch with Special Agent Q and ask them to build one for you. Nineteen ninety seven TVR Cerberus Speed Twelve. It's a car so terrifying that, after a test drive of one of the prototypes, the boss of TVR decided against putting it into production. He even said that, who thought airbags were more trouble than they were worth, and that ABS was just a crutch for poorly set up cars. You likely have some idea of what it takes to terrify him. Surmounting such a daunting challenge was approached in, let's say, typical TVR fashion. The 7.7-liter V12 apparently snapped the input shaft of TVR's 1,000 brake horsepower rated dyno. A top speed in excess of the McLaren F1 was mooted. The only TVR Cerberus Speed 12 ever built by TVR for road use was up for sale in 2023, for a whopping $750,000. Bugatti Chiron Profile The Bugatti Chiron Profile is an automotive solitaire, a one-of-a-kind member of the Chiron lineup envisioned as a less radical interpretation of the purse sport. It is unique in character, in design, and in its details. With all build slots for the Chiron spoken for, the auction of the Profile in Paris on the 1st of February 2023 is the sole opportunity to acquire one of the final W16-powered Bugatti creations directly from the Molsheim Atelier. In character, the Profile maintains much of the purity of the purse sport. Designed for lateral grip and ultimate acceleration, it is powered by the same 1,500 PS development of the Bugatti W16 engine, with 15% shorter transmission ratios than the Chiron Sport. The Profile accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.3 seconds and up to 200 km per hour in 5.5 seconds. It has a top speed of 380 km per hour compared with the Chiron Per Sport's 350 km per hour. The Profile is presented in a primary color of Argent Atlantique, exclusively developed for this car. The Profile is presented in a primary color of Argent Atlantique, exclusively developed for this car. The one-of-a-kind Bugatti Chiron Profile sold at RM Paris Collector Car Auction for a bid of $9.5 million. With fees paid to the auction house, the final selling price was about $10.7 million. Porsche 911 Sally Special Porsche and Pixar Animation Studios unveiled a very special Porsche inspired by one of the most popular 911s. Sally Carrera, the famous car from Disney and Pixar's animated film, Cars. Like Sally Carrera, the 911 Sally Special is one of a kind. There will only be one 911 Sally Special, and it's the first time that Pixar has supported such a project. 
The one-off car was auctioned by RM Sotheby's on the 20th of August 2022 as part of Monterey Car Week in California, with the final winning offer coming from a telephone bidder. $3.6 million, a record for a new Porsche sold at auction, according to the auction house. Twenty twenty one Pagani Zonda AY. Commissioned by supercar collector Mike Yin, this car began life as a Zonda F Roadster. It was sent to Pagani for a complete rebuild. The result is a supercar with bits inspired by other unique Zondas. The final product is the epitome of the company's dedication to building moving expressions of engineering excellence and passion. Power comes from a Mercedes-AMG sourced 7.3-liter V12 engine that is mated to a single-clutch six-speed automated manual transmission. The naturally aspirated V12 puts out an impressive 650 horsepower and 575 foot-pounds of torque. The Pagani Zonda is built by hand using carbon fiber in almost every part of the car to keep things rigid and light. The final product is a one-of-a-kind functional art piece that is equally impressive to drive and look at. Lamborghini Egoista Revealed at a ceremony in Santa Gata marking the end of the Lamborghini 50th Anniversary Grand Tour, the Lamborghini Egoista is designed as a gift from Lamborghini to Lamborghini. The Egoista pays homage to Lamborghini's trait of being made with passion and heart more than with the head. It represents hedonism taken to the extreme, it is a car without compromises, in a word, Egoista or selfish. Made from aluminium and carbon fiber and powered by a 441 kW 52 liter V10 engine borrowed from the Gallardo. The Lamborghini is a single-seat supercar inspired by the world of aviation, specifically the Apache attack helicopter. With a staggering $117 million price tag, the Lamborghini Egoista solidifies its place as an epitome of automotive luxury. But its worth isn't just in its price, but its exclusivity. A single unit made, never intended for sale. 2010 Alfa Romeo TZ3 Corsa The track version of the TZ3, hence the name TZ3 Corsa, Corsa meaning race in Italian. Built to celebrate 100 years, a century of Alfa Romeo and racing, the Corsa is a one-off car that was first presented at and won the 2010 Concorso de Eleganza Villa d'Est in Italy and was made for German collector Martin Kapp. The car weighs 850 kilograms thanks to its carbon fiber frame and hand-beaten aluminium body panels and as a 420 horsepower dry sump for point to liter V8 engine. The TZ3 Corsa can attain a top speed of over 300 kilometers per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 103.5 seconds. 2008 BMW M1 Homage the BMW M1 Homage is one of the most exciting concept cars ever delivered by the design studio in Munich. Unveiled in 2008, the spiritual successor of the M1 supercar was and still is a stunning piece of automotive art. Yet, the M1 Homage never moved past its concept status and was purely a design exercise with no drivetrain underneath its beautiful shapes. To tease us even more of the possibilities and opportunities missed, BMW M decided to bring back to life the M1 homage by displaying it at the 2020 to Concorso d'Eleganza. Many folks were all very upset by this, as the BMW M1 is a favorite for many BMW fans but is too rare to actually find and buy. The homage concept gave hope to those fans that there would be a new version they could buy. It gave them hope right up until the point that BMW squashed it. It turns out, though, that maybe BMW was using the homage concept to test the waters of the styling of the then upcoming i8. 2008 Citroen GT 
The Citroen GT debuted at the Paris Motor Show in 2008, a result of a collaboration between Citroen and Polyphony Digital. The French car manufacturer worked with the Japanese video game development studio to make a car for the video game Gran Turismo 5. Eventually, the model made it to the concept car design, although the production was cancelled due to high costs. The game's suitable Citroen GT reached several versions. Gran Turismo 5 players could push this awesome-looking French car to high limits on the track, as the GT was able to put out 394, 500, 599, or a whopping 778 horsepower. Surely, gamers had a great time driving this sports car on the screen, but what about real life? The Citroen GT concept car was set to bear the Ford Modular V8 petrol or gasoline engine, producing 646 horsepower. All things considered, the Citroen GT concept car looks to have everything necessary to become one of the best French supercars, minus the production date. 2000 for Chrysler ME412 Chrysler stunned the world when it unveiled its outrageous ME412 concept car at the Detroit Auto Show. No one could quite believe a company best known for sensible shoes people movers and trucks the size of Texas would seriously consider producing a mid-engine V12-powered supercar designed to blow an Enzo off the Autostrada. Rival auto execs were quick to write off the Mi 412 as an extravagant corporate ego trip, a glittery show pony that would never turn a wheel in anger. But the boys at Chrysler insisted it was the real deal. If the reception is positive, we are definitely going to build this baby. The Mi 412 has a 6.0 liter V12 based on the 612 horsepower twin turbo AMG engine with twice the number of turbos pumping up to 2.5 bars boost. Chrysler has proven it probably could engineer and build a car to take on the European supercar superstars. We have a very clear and good definition of the technical specifications of the car. With that, we can do a calculation for the cost of building 10, 100, and 1,000 cars and figure out the price points if the numbers add up. Apparently, no one was convinced enough to pay what's rumored to be somewhere between $250,000 and $750,000 for a 248mph Chrysler. There are plenty of folks in Detroit who reckon building a costly Ferrari beater doesn't make a lot of sense for a company that really needs more hot new mainstream cars to show the 300C is no fluke. Hope you liked the video, and if you are new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification button so you can join us on the next set of ultra-rare supercars only here in.